What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RossMertech.com and this is another tutorial in Apex Programming. Now in this class I'm going to show you guys how to print Hello World, so let's get started. Now the first thing we're going to need to do before we even start coding, we need to open up Eclipse, so find Eclipse, double click on it and open it up. Let it run. Uh, if it asks you for a workspace, you can just click OK, it's fine. It's going to take about a minute to load. So now the next thing we're going to need to do is change the perspective. We want to change this to the forest.com perspective. So to do that, we're going to click on Windows up here, or Window, sorry. Then uh, under Open Perspective, we're going to click on Other. Then scroll down so you see forest.com. Click on forest.com, then click on OK. And it should load the forest.com perspective. So now there's another thing we're going to need to do before we can start coding and that's we got to create a new project. I already have my project open but I'll show you guys how to create a new project. So now we got to click on file first, click on new, then look for forest.com project. Click on forest.com project, let it load. Now this is very important. Uh, if you guys haven't signed up for a developer edition, it's free. You should sign up. You can sign up by clicking here the sign up now. Click on it, let it load. Uh, fill in your name and your email and then your username should be your email as well so again fill your name your email address here then the username should be your email address click on this i have read and agreed to whatever then sign up it's free so then you're going to get sent a email with a notification link uh, click on that link then it's going to ask you to create a password create that password and uh, once you're done uh, it might ask you to verify the account Make sure you verify it. So let me open up the browser here. So once you're done, you're going to go to uh, Google, then go to Force, or actually, sorry, Salesforce, Force Developer, right? Then it should be the first link you see. Click on salesforcedeveloper.com, then log in with your new username and password. Again, your username should be your email. I'm going to use mine because I already have an account and uh, click on uh, click uh, login using your account and your password. So click on the login to Salesforce button here. Then it should take about a minute for you to log in. So now you got, you're going to want to click on this uh, drop down list with your name on it, right? Then click on my developer account. Click on that. Click on uh, load to Salesforce again. Make sure you use your username and password again. Then this uh, GUI appears. This is where we're going to be using later on to create the Salesforce applications. So now we're going to click on our name up here with this drop down list. Click on it. Then we're going to go to My Settings. Click on My Settings. Then under Personal here on the left side, we're going to click Personal. Then go down to Reset My Security Token. Click on Reset My Security Token. Then you're going to want to click on this reset security token. Once you do that, it's going to send you an email with your new security token. So let's minimize this here. Let's open up uh, Eclipse. So th that security token, you got to memorize it. Copy it and paste it on to this part here. All right, here from the top, your project name, put your email address. Your username, make sure it's your email address. Your uh, password here is the password you gave it when you uh, opened up the email and it asked you to enter a password. So put that password in. Now the security token is what we just reset and uh, copy that security token and paste it down here. Then you're going to click on finished. So once you're finished, it's going to do a couple of things. Then you're going to press next, 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 okay, next, next. So once you're finished with that, uh, you should have your account linked to Eclipse. So once you have your account links to Eclipse, you're going to go down here where it says execute uh, anonymous. We're going to double click that so we expand it. So double click execute to anonymous and uh, active projects is going to make sure it's your uh, email address here or your username here. And uh, you should be able to start typing now and we can actually test it out. So once you got that all done, now I'm going to show you how to actually code. We're going to actually print something out onto the console here. We're going to print out hello world. So 
uh, if you guys are familiar with object-oriented programming languages, it's similar to uh, all the others, like especially Java. It reminds me the most of Java. So we're going to type in this capital S, Y, S, T, E, M. The, the S is only capital here. And we're going to type in dot, dot debug, D, E, B, U, G, open and close parentheses, end it with a semicolon. So it's similar to Java. So inside this open and close parentheses, we're going to uh, type in this uh, set of single quotes. So two single quotes, right? Inside the set of single quotes here, we're going to type in a message and this message is going to say, hello world. So make sure you type this between the two single quotes. So I'm going to type in hello, hit space, then type in world. Now uh, to run this, we're going to click on execute anonymous. So click on it. It's going to start running some stuff and uh, it checks for various things. But uh, the one thing we're going to really want to pay attention to is this uh, user debug. This user debug is, is where it's actually going to uh, test and show us the results of what it actually tested. And as you can see down here, it printed out hello world. So user debug is what we really want to pay attention to. And it printed out hello world. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rissin from RossMerchTech.com, and thanks for watching.